Uh -uh. I did but, play a check and essence card if anyone has a pickup and wants to pick it up. But yeah, it is, it is possible to get out uh, if you can, if you're really good, if you're feeling really strong at climbing or wherever. I don't suggest using pitons and shit because hammering those in would probably draw some attention from the staff. And it, it is the kind of thing that they'd expect you to do, though. <laughs> Why is that student hammering pitons in the side of the building and dressed as a professional climber? No, Logan, we've we've been in the courtyard because we went to the hospital and they put us in the courtyard. The old paint peeling door on the opposite side of the courtyard that goes to the medical wing. No, no. If you look at your map, that goes uh, somewhere totally different. You want to check that out, Jeremy? Isn't that it. the door we take out to? Yeah, no, no, that no, is no. Totally the gate door. Damarong corridor. Yeah. To the north. The up from there. The Windows look out to a small walled off courtyard. This is where we're hanging our junk. Right. Yeah, that's also, the one that's that the gate paint door. door is the gate door. Oh, you, that's the gate door? Okay. You went through that before. Okay. I'm always a risk taker. <laughs> he oh, hasn't boy. gotten in trouble yet. We can get him no, to get in I'm trouble doing. as long as we're not associated with him. How, how are you picking locks, man? I'll tell you in two seconds here. Let me pull it up. If he has, a, if he has like, uh, do it as a living skill in picking locks, that'd just be alarming. I need to see. Lock picking, uh, mechanical, uh, 33. Okay, hobbyist. I say hobbyist. Yeah. Yeah. That's not great, but it's better than many people. I'll give it a shot. 33. Of course, that never happens in this game, but, you know. I give him my lock picks because if he gets caught with them, they'll just take him away rather than kill him. Oh, well, yeah, let's do this. Uh, there's no door. There's no actual lock that they're having you pick. They're just hanging out uh, okay. in uh, Lockbeard Hall and discussing uh, potential crimes right now. Cool. Yep. They are bad kids. They, you're surprised. I turn around and say, gentlemen, whatever you guys want to do on game, let's get this on. <laughs> We're trying to there, – there's a creepy forest that we've been trying to get into, but it is truly creepy, so we want some defense items. And that's what's in this backpack that's hanging outside the window. And we okay. need to figure out how to get this backpack to the creepy forest without any teachers or students finding us, because if they do, we die. Right, because – well, we're probably not going to die. That's probably a little bit exaggerating. I mean, if we die, you know, death in this game is not really death, so – I was going to say, it's um, not exaggeration. That's foreshadowing. We can create a diversion and angle. Well, they haven't there. put us on the rack yet, so I think the rack is next, dude. I, I don't hate Tommy's idea. What's that? He creates create a, a diversion. diversion. And then somebody go out there and, uh, I got a good climb. My climb's pretty good. Wait you mean create a diversion in the Great Hall we run through with the guns? Yeah. That, that's what I thought you were talking about, Tommy. My climb's a sixty. Yeah, we don't we don't need to climb anything, uh, Tommy. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's that's the courtyard that goes nowhere. All right. Um, so it's it's not a climb situation. It's a go to the great hall, cause everybody to look at you and pay attention to you while we sneak through to the front courtyard and find some place to stash these weapons. Okay. So what can you pretty what? much do at this place without getting in too much trouble? Uh, you can walk around and check things out <laughs> during the day. <laughs> you can walk. I would try streaking, but... It might be more effective for me to threaten to do something, but not actually do it. I don't know if that would get me killed. Yeah. Like if I say, hey... I have lockpicks. Would everyone come jump me down to try and get my lockpicks so they could report me and get points, but I don't actually have lockpicks? Yeah, you can, uh, Tommy, we can explore all the stuff that's on the map you don't have. Um, the problem <laughs> is we've done extensive exploring that got us caught doing extensive support because the only thing we've been able to find that that is interesting is a a tunnel out to Melwicks, which is a medieval town, which is not medieval, um, kind of a wild western town. We found the tunnel out to there um, through a secret door in the theater room. And um, the only other things are pretty much off limits. 
like um, McKay told us about the, the lighthouse that happens to be in a dungeon cell. The dungeon has three locks on it. So we've been trying to pick locks and stuff, and we just keep getting caught because we, we're making shit rolls, and um, and so we're in we're in we're in hot water. So um, so if you were to, to do any of this stuff, it, it'd probably be best if you um, if you did it on your own and signaled us. Please don't implicate us. <laughs> don't blame somebody else. Like like like. Like Phil here, Phil implicated us all, so now we're all on uh, on thin ice instead of just one of us. Okay. Don't don't trust Phil. He he um he's a tattler. He's a rat. <laughs> so. So there's a I, locked door in the science classroom that we don't know. Uh, uh, I, apparently, there are candy vouchers that we've never received. There's a secret passage in the library. There's stuff in the dungeons. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm cutting you off every two seconds. What do you say? No, I was just trying to get your guys. What's your character's name again? Oh, I'm uh, I'm, I'm Jake or The Rock. Jake or Rock? Yeah. And the other guy? Rock, and I'm Phil. I'm the rat. Oh, you're the rat. Yeah. You said this right in front of you? <laughs> you did well. I'm yes, the one who edited him out. So. He ratted us out. <laughs> Holy shit. Multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> Multiple times, because I don't know why. I have no idea why he is ratting out his teammate. I, I it, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah. And you want me to trust this guy? No, I said don't trust him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so you know, he, he's 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 extremely good. he's extremely bad under pressure. Apparently, I, I, I am. I am. We'll work on that. Interrogation, he'll just spill his guts. He just cuts his guts open and lets them all spill out all over the place. We'll work on that. <laughs> yes, Jeremy, we will work on I'm sorry. Yes, Phil, we will work on that, right? Special ops training. Sure. I've had seer training, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so so. I, I do like the distraction idea. And I do yeah, think a distraction in the Great Hall might actually net us something. We, I just don't know a way to pull one off that Well, you, we could always do get help. <laughs> get help. Oh, just help. You and me have a rep a Yeah, we're known. I can't think of the word at the moment. Reputation? Reputation. So we might be able to drive up a hustle or a commotion better but and then tommy can just sneak through real quick with the backpack let me do a quick bathroom break guys one second yeah okay yeah. all right that's actually yeah. a pretty good idea there that's that's a fine idea we do the distraction but you need to you, then you got to balance your distraction between distracting as fuck but not to get you killed well i've got it i've got it i'm just going to call him a dirty rat and punch him that works yeah but i like that Punching in physical violence will definitely get you demerits. Demerits will probably get you guys killed. Ah. So we just start swearing and yelling at each other. Yeah, that that might that might do it. If I antagonize sure. someone and they punch me, then they'll probably kill you because you're obviously a bad seed. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, you guys don't understand just how close you are to death. You can see that in all the teachers' eyes. They're like, you know, we're probably just going to have to kill them. Oh, yeah. causes. Your, your characters have no doubt in their mind that you, you unless, unless you were to do something like save everybody's lives at the school or something, you're pretty much looking at a hard life here. Well, that's what we're trying to do, but they won't let us. It's the cyberpunk land all over again for you, sir. <laughs> Eventually, every time, I went to, so every time I went to cyberpunk, I almost died or I caused something that's going to cause me to die in the future. It's just great. Yeah, okay. I can see <laughs> I, that. I can totally the, see that. The first time wasn't even my fault. I was just wandering around, and then I got sucked into the blood dome, and then I had to fist fight someone until I almost died. I don't remember signing up for the Blood Dome. I think I got forced into it, and I can't remember how. 
<laughs> you probably blew a roll at some point there. <laughs> so, so what we doing is diversion, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's get right. get. We're going to have a loud argument in the Great Hall about how I'm not doing this anymore. You can't make me blah, blah, blah. All right. Cool. Top of I'll your lungs. You to make it easy, uh, John, give me a stealth roll at plus. Well, actually, first, before you do that, the other two guys, give me acting rolls, as this is definitely acting as you yell and scream at each other to divert our bite. I'm guys, pausing uh, that. I'm not going to be the reason that, that we fail this again. I succeed. Success. I was going to say, you guys are both professional actors and shit. What is wrong with this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, uh, since they both succeeded, uh, John, you're doing a stealth roll of plus 30 to simply carry a backpack through the great hall and out the front door without anybody the wiser. Uh, my stealth regulars are 43, so you said plus 30? Yeah, yep. but don't 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 state your uh, values out loud. But, uh, um, but for future, John, I would advise you modify your character to give him a 60 in stealth. It's super freaking useful. Okay. Well, any yeah, after after your first session, which is now, then you get a free rewrite of your character. Any skills okay. that are bold faced, uh, those are ones that other players who have games with me for years are like, if you don't have this at least sixty, you're fucked. Okay. Yeah. So forty three is you got you, yeah. you got to roll under seventy three. Not bad. Yeah. Go for shot. it. You can do it. Oh. Oh. All right, yeah, yeah so that, that's 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 like uh, uh, under half by a lot, or that's uh, in a quarter, dude. Yeah, quarter, cool. Right, he carries it out. Unfortunately, you didn't tell him where to put it. So eventually, your argument ends, and you guys then go wandering off. But you find him with that good of roll. He's hanging out. He's got the backpack camouflaged a bit because nobody else has a backpack at this school. So even the backpack stands out. You have no idea what's in it. The backpack stands out. But outside of the uh, uh, front door, or well, in the great in the great outdoors area of the school, you uh, see that there's a, a path that goes over, and there's like a large field over there. There's gardening supply shacks, uh, showers and changing areas, a scrubby field, a really fucking ominous, spooky forest over there, shooting range. Uh, Parade and drill grounds, stuff like that. They How big is this backpack? Scarecrows. Hmm? How, How big, big is the backpack? backpack? Pardon? How, How big, big is the backpack? backpack? I mean, do we oh. have school bags? Can we change the items from, from the backpack in one of our school bags without? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could have. They didn't think of that. But yes, you could have very easily put the shit from the backpack into a school bag. Well, do we but stash they, the backpack now and do it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, put it John, in some other take, kid's room and having it blamed for it. John, take a uh, card for uh, pointing out something that they, they look at you like, oh, yeah. You didn't yeah. tell us we had school bags, Logan. I, I well, did at the beginning. We of didn't ask. No, no, you, no, you did not, sir. But really? Really? Books in there. That's okay. I, I, I'm cool. So. You told us we had books. You didn't tell us we had we had book bags, so I assume we, we did. book bags. Okay, no All worries. Right. So you, the important thing is you got your shit out. So um, pretty much. Right. If you, hmm? Go ahead. I was going to say, if you guys want to uh, uh, go across the scrubby field and into the spooky forest, I'd need all of you to make a stealth roll at full. If one person blows it, then the whole group gets spotted. So uh, this may be where we teach uh, John about uh, hero points. We will see. Yes. Okay. All right, stealth roll. Here I go. At last, you've gotten to the spooky forest. With guns. Success. With guns. Success. Now, we had a, uh, you say it's at a plus or no? No, full, no, so full skill. Full skill. skill. Standard. Yeah. Okay. We, we will discuss hero points should you fail the roll. He so here's, now. here's how hero points work. Uh, what's your essence? Wait a second. Up in your stats, it's one of those. He said eleven. I remember that from earlier. Yes, yes. So you you start with eleven hero points. And you want to keep track of them because hero points are life. When you run out of hero points, you are close to fucking death. Okay. Yeah. So the way a hero point works is you can either use it to negate incoming damage from a, a single attack uh, if if somebody's doing the attack. Now if it's an area thing like a claymore or something. 
or more importantly, you could use it to re-roll a blown roll, like now. So if you spend one of your hero points, I'll leave you with 10 left, and then you can try rolling your stealth again. Okay. Let's try to roll this in. No. Ooh. So if you spend another hero point... <laughs> You can keep going until you're either out of hero points or too frustrated that you're never, ever going to roll well. Either way. Uh, but before you roll, if you ask the other guys, hey, do you have any cards that might help me? You can trade cards around and shit. Uh, yes, I do have a skill plus 10, which I think I'll throw at you. So that's better than nothing. So I'm Two going ones. to trade a card with you. And then you can just give me any card that's garbage. You drag it onto my picture. Which and is I have a party. Gnome. Sorry. I have a party, party escape, escape card that I can play the instant we get caught. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll put you back in the hall going, what, what? I don't understand what we're doing wrong. Yeah. So, so if you have a crappy card you can give me, I can give you a skill plus 10. Uh, or I yeah, think I you know. have a skill plus 10, don't you? I don't know. Uh, no, I have plus 5. Okay. So I give so you trade a skill the plus 10. 5 for the plus 10. And then play the plus 10 and then roll. Yes. You got to play the I? card first before you roll. So you have to hit the trade accept button, which is the blue button on the pop-up window. Can you drag his window. card there? Yeah. The All right, we're good. There? All right. All right, so play the skill plus 10 by, by putting it onto the discard pile. I still have the skill plus 10. I have okay. no idea. You said we were good. <laughs> well, it went away, so I thought we were good. No, so yeah, you, you got to shake your hand. Yeah, okay. Figure it out, guys. Uh, why don't you drag drag your the card you want to get rid of to mine, and then I'll do the second half of the trade. How do I do that? Uh, you'll the same way you drag the card onto my picture, and then the same uh, way you would drag it to the discard pile, but you drag it to his picture. Yep. Well, I was gonna say if he just gives you the skill five card, then Jeremy could just discard his skill ten card, exactly. and that has been played. You don't have to actually yep. make him well, play it. We might as well learn how to do the trade thing. So yeah, I just put, I just sent it to you. So what do I do? I gotta I gotta click accept now too, right? Uh. Well, your hand. I'm trying to. What? Oh, drop card. Why is it not trading? Damn it! Mine isn't. And this is where we start fumbling our computer use rolls, and the whole game comes to a screeching halt. All right. <laughs> oh, I can wait. see why we're having issues. I'll just accept the trade. I'll take that, and I played the skill 10. Roll 20 is, is, <laughs> is really clunky. <laughs> so you get plus 10 to your roll, John. Sorry, I couldn't figure out how to get the trade to work there. For some reason. So now, you're at 50, now you're at 53. It kept telling me a trade was already happening, and I'm like, yes, with me. So, yes. Greg, excellent. Congratulations. Right. We're in business. How are Good. you? We're in the forest. How are you with the pistol, Tommy? My pistol is, I know I, I took some of that stuff too. So don't, go, don't give me a number. Give me a, give me a hobbyist, do it for a living expert. You're not an expert because it's a new build. Um, so give me the numbers again. 30, 30 is hobbyist, 60 is do it for a living. Do it for a living. All right. All right. Very good, man. You got your I'll... very own Earth pistol. Okay. It looks like it looks like a kid's ray gun, you know, zap gun type thing. It looks like it's made out of some sort of plasticky material. It doesn't have a clip. Um, yeah, it looks like a toy. Yep. What you do is you um, you you put a magic point into it. We all know how to do that, right? Well, you, you guys do. He's looking at it like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> okay, well, we're going to teach him how to put a magic point into it. No problem. Yeah, you you, uh, you, you just kind of go work, damn it. And then it, when when you uh, your magic points are equal to your essence points, okay? So you have 11, then you go down to 10. They, they will come back after a good night's sleep, okay? Okay. So I already used one of those, by the way, right? In essence, so I'm... At 10, correct? You don't use essence, you use a magic point. Yeah, magic. So your essence doesn't go down. You just have as many magic points as you have essence. Okay. Yeah. 
And you don't want to use it right away because that effect only lasts for a couple minutes unless okay. you're constantly shooting it. Okay. Well, so, he's, got, he's got to do it, man. He's got to do it to, to know how to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah I guess. Yeah. Do it right now and put a magic point in. No problem. Uh, you put in a magic point and it starts making a noise, which is pretty fucking loud. And you're looking at it wondering, what the fuck is wrong with this thing? <laughs> but it's making a loud whining noise. And that's when we disappear into the forest. Yeah, yes. we're good. Run. Everything's good. <laughs> yeah, eventually, the after about a minute or two, the gun stops making it, and it will need to be react. Basically, it takes one round to activate the gun, and after that, you can blaze away. But it's um, really it's it's not a sneaky kind of gun, right? Not even Basically, a little. Basically, you blow your stealth. Uh, Logan, that that gun was never fired. Um, can we can we get a, a number of shots in it now that he's activated it? Uh, yeah, you got that from Dragon Dawn. It's got the uh, uh, no, that wasn't Dragon Dawn. That was one of the dead guards. Oh, uh, right. Hold on a minute. Let me tell you how many shots he has left in it. Seven. <laughs> oh, I have a fire pistol too. Because you no. gave away your only gun, didn't you, Russ? That one, that one has thirty shots in it. No, I got my light pistol. We have a fire pistol. We have a light pistol. We have an earth pistol. You gave the light pistol. Well, I guess I'll just take the fire pistol. So no, I gave him an earth pistol. And I'll take the fire one. Dad. So, uh, correction, correction on uh, the unfired uh, gun. John has it. Has eight shots in it before it's done. And uh, you've got 30 shots in the fire pistol, okay? Okay. Cool. So you guys move on. You go into the uh, dark and spooky as fuck forest. Uh, it's oddly chill in the gloom beneath the thick canopy overhead, and there's a ground mist obscuring small patches of the ground. Um, yeah. You feel like you're being watched. Yep. You gonna let him make a danger sense roll? Sure. Go for a danger sense roll or six sense danger sense there, uh, John. Yeah, it's under six sense. And I got a success. You can feel your sphincter tightening. Yeah, Pretty I mean normal. We'll go for a check in danger sense. Success. Great. Did you make yours, John? John is muted. Yes. This is a disadvantage of meeting yourself. As yeah, I made it. Forget. You made it? Great. Yes. Yeah, this is definitely the kind of place you would like to not be at. Eh, let's keep walking. No problem. You guys continue walking, and eventually uh, you see a bunch of old dried branches laying about, but there's a clear path through them with some oddly moldy leaves uh, uh, in, the midst, in the middle of them. Walk around. Um, yeah, that's probably a trap. You guys skirt around the uh, uh, possible trap. You continue along the path, and eventually, um, you see. Uh, give me spot the hidden roll. Fail. Success by a quarter. One second. Mm -hmm. I keep flipping back and forth here. Yeah. <laughs> Made it. Great. Uh, you guys uh, see some punji or not punji sticks, but caltrops sticking out from beneath some of the leaves. Right. I, I already know about the caltrops, so we, we've been here. Yes, I know, but you weren't saying anything to the other people, so you know. <laughs> okay, you know, all right. Well, you didn't you didn't describe the area where the caltrops were. You're not describing the dead bodies either. So oh, I don't know where we are in the forest. Dead body is coming up. You can see it right up there. Okay. Uh, it looks as though there, there's uh, uh, some uh, uh, kid in a school uniform, but it's just the skeleton remaining. And it has uh, green sleeves and the school I uniform. I ripped the sleeves off last time I was there. What's that? I ripped the sleeves off last time I was there. Got it. I'll make a note of that. Yeah, so this is about be, a. That would be House Dragon. Yeah. Yep. Eventually, uh, you guys continue on, and you begin to spot uh, spider webs here and there, high up in the trees. Uh, some pretty impressively big webs. You are beginning to become nervous. 
So those are drider webs. That's the reason we have guns. But I still want to continue forward. Is everyone still on board? I'm feeling great, man. All right. All right. I got, and I'll have my gun ready just in case. The rock likes. And we no continue problem. forward. We're all going to die. This is awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, we got guns. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you're thinking the guns are going to not help as much as you think they're going to help. But give me a spot hit and rolls, please. That's success at a quarter. Early mm. success. Yeah. My success. Nice. You guys uh, go around. It looks like a line stra uh, a trip, trip wire of some such. And it's hooked up so that if you were to hit it, then a big branch would come around and smack you about in the face. <laughs> he seems to uh, be vaguely familiar with this. Now, give me uh, tracking rolls, please, as you continue on. You're going deeper and deeper. You've been walking for like over an hour so far. Success at half. Nice. I, I walk in a circle finding my own wow. footprints. I nailed it. Excellent. You guys see some uh, uh, odd tracks. It looks like... Um, if, if uh, people with two peg legs were to uh, go around, then uh, that would make it. Uh, but uh, let's see, uh, you guys have made it uh, very low. So uh, you're, since I mentioned driders, it's like giant spider tracks, probably driders. Uh, you notice that the, it, uh, the, the creatures seem to be, mm, if the tracks help, uh, about car size. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh yeah, they're big nasty human spider things. They're like they're like mermaids, but they have a spider body. Okay, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay. The, uh... so um, we're gonna start being stealthy now. I think. Fucking take a card, Russ. I was wondering if that would happen. Cool. Success. All right. Yep. Give me stealth rolls as you guys are now in sneak motion. I'm not gonna ask for a lot of stealth rolls, but you know. Fail. You, okay, you blow it for the group. Everybody will be attracted to you. Yeah, me neither. Nice. Right, no problem. I, I'm sneaking amongst the clanking. Okay, yeah, so just, they'll attack me and me and Tommy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you guys are definitely going to be the first uh, targets and stuff. But uh, you guys do spot something large moving up in the trees, up in the high branches in the distance. Uh, you're not sure what it was, but it whatever it was was probably half a car big. Yeah, it's moving fairly quick. Uh, it's a baby lots of spider webs up in the trees. Yep. Now give me spot hidden rolls. I'm looking for half because you're with two super unstealthy people. Nothing. At half, please. Mm -hmm. uh, I made it. Okay. I don't think you made it half, though, John. No, I didn't know. Cool. So nobody made it half? Nope. nope. Right. And something initiates combat as a surprise round on you guys, but you don't know what yet. So we go into combat rounds. Welcome to the combat system, John. Let's do this. That would happen so quick. So, so how do I know hit points and stuff? Where's that? How do I figure that out? Uh, your hit points are equal to your willpower. All right. Willpower. Standard combat logo or dramatic? Uh, this this is only standard right now. It could get worse later. Uh, heroes are first. Nothing good or nothing's approved. So uh, for your guys' turn, you are being surprised. So bad guys go. Uh, on the two guys making noise because they noticed them first. <laughs> you guys hear odd whistling and stuff going by your head. You don't know where it came from, where it's going, or even what it was. It sounded like kind of just, just like that. Next round. Whatever it was, it didn't hit anybody. Heroes of First cannot use magic this round. Grapple. Uh, does that include that? Uh, does that include activating the guns, Logan? Uh, yes, guns are magical. Okay, I uh, I hit prone and look around for what's attacking me. Excellent. Free action, fall down, full action, look around. Okay, what, um, Jeremy, what are you doing? 
Bumble, I, I look at the ground. I, I just look at the ground. <laughs> so and say, you oh, grind look. some dirt into your eyes to help you see better. Jeremy, what do you do? I do much the same. Excellent. And what, what would you like to do, John? Is there anything that can duck behind cover? Anything close by? Uh, you find a tree. There's lots of trees around here. Right, I, I, I dodge behind a tree. Excellent. If there's something to see, hopefully I see it. I made it a half. No problem. Holy shit, over there, really well camouflaged. Like people or creatures had a long time to do it. It's like a big hunting blind, and it's got like a couple of slits, and you see like hollow tubes sticking out. Mm -hmm. I point at it and say, ahoy. Next round. Oh, wait, the bad guys haven't gone yet. They try shooting you guys with stuff. So pretty much one shot on each. Jeremy, hey, at last to hit. No, on John and no on Russ. Right. Do I get so, any bonus for being prone? Or do they get any minus for being prone? For oh, being that's prone? right. You're prone. Yeah, it was right. You felt your hair go. So <laughs> right over you. And you're like. And I'm kind of like blade in a tree. So like, you know, I'm sideways on it. So I'm not. Oh, yeah. My body, yeah. No problem. Yeah. Uh, actually, the tree is super useful because something stuck into it with a uh, small think or thunk or whatever. Villains are first. Something good happens with them. Heroes are second. Have a small chance of getting knocked out. They take damage. Posing dramatically is approved. What approved actions are real quick, John, is in, in most combats, only shoot, move is ever useful. In this combat system, if you do the approved action instead of anything useful, so you do a you know pose dramatically or whatever, then you get a card. So it's it makes it so that doing things other than shooting and moving during combat are possibly tactically advantageous. Okay. So uh, villains go first. They shoot shit at you guys. Miss John. Oh, right. Even though you're behind a tree, apparently you had like a foot or something sticking out, and Russ just got tagged in the top of his head because, you know, now, uh, let's see if they can do at least two damage, if they can. Yep. Uh, right. You you take uh, one point of damage, John, and uh, Russ takes two, and both of you guys give me alcohol to, or, uh, alcohol slash drug tolerance rolls, please. Where's that at? I can, I can I Can I pause it off? Can I pause off the hit after if I make you... my al alcohol tolerance roll? No, you can spend a pause now and get rid of it. Yeah, I will spend a pause now. If you, yeah, I, I don't know if you actually took any skill in that. I'm not even sure if it's a write-in or it's not. A write -in. Uh, it's a write-in. There write -in. are literally thousands of write-in skills. So um, if you don't want to take whatever horrible drugs and shit they put in there, you can just say, I spend a hero point, and then they barely miss you instead of taking any damage. So we, okay, I don't... Uh... Oh, well, my hero chances with tolerance at learn. Yeah, all all your new skills will start at learn. Whatever your learn skill is, John. Yeah, I, I do. Have, I do have a plus one hero. It's at the end of the adventure. Or use it now. Says. Oh really? Oh, it's a player's choice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'd probably play that now. You okay. To play that to have him miss you. How do I? How do, okay. And do I just put that on the uh, on your thing, Logan? On uh, the discard, discard pile. I'm sorry? Discard pile. Okay. Cool. No problem. You guys get missed. Um, there seems to be stuff getting shot. And right. So it's now the hero's turn. Jeremy, what do you want to do? You're currently eating dirt. Uh, pop up enough to take a shot at the blind. You pop up and realize you've got to activate your gun. All right. Activate <laughs> my gun. Weep. No problem. You spend a magic point. You're hiding behind a tree, John. What do you do? You begin to hear a loud whining of a gun. I, uh, well, I'm, my gun's already activated, correct? I uh, know, because they only stay activated for a short time, like a minute or two, and you'd activate it about half an hour, hour ago, something like that. All right, so I say, what do I have to say for this thing? You just work, damn it. You know, you work, will it to work. And, yep. Shoot. No problem. You activate your gun. Russ, what are you doing? Uh, I'm going to try and put a tree between me and the blind and activate my gun. Uh, no, you can do one or the other. Then I activate my gun. 
all right, you lay on the ground and go work. Right, you're, it, it's pretty fucking noisy with three guns activated. So everybody give me a free listen roll. Success at half. Okay, stand by. Here we go. I was going to say, best way, John, is always roll first, then find the skill. Because if you roll it, like an 80, then we yeah. all know you missed it. Yeah. Where the hell did my dice thing go? This ain't cool. I don't know what happened just my I don't know what happened to my dice thing. It went behind my court thing and I can't pull it the hell up. You have some really weird technical shit. I do. I do. You got kids though. They'll teach you how to use the computer someday. <laughs> this was my computer until they started messing with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a quick uh, way to do dice is to type slash R space. and a space, then D, whatever the number is on the dice. Unfortunately, it doesn't show it on the screen when I do it. Uh, let me see. Slash R D one hundred. Yeah. See. Yeah, there you go. We're gonna do slash. Do you see it under the yeah, eighty-one? I yeah. I gotta put the parentheses in there too. No quotes. Yeah. Just slash R D one hundred. We do the R quotes, then it doesn't do the macro. That's what he was doing. And then hit enter, right? Yep. Yep. I think it's going to take it. Flash World thinking. It's comforting to me not to be the worst at computers at the table. Ah, ah. It's saying, on, I don't know what the hell it's doing. It's saying unrecognized. Do the right slash. Did you, did basically, did you put in exactly everything he did, but without the quotes? Yes. Wow. Um, sure. You probably didn't. There's something. Yeah, there you go. That's I, I just copy paste That's it. Phil. Yeah, I was going to say you copy paste it and it should work. Huh? Yeah, just don't highlight the quotes. All right, stand by. I mean, I do have dice on buy too, if need be, if that's allowed. Everybody uses roll 20. You'll figure it out eventually. Yes. Let's see here. Beast. Close. You forgot the slash. You got to put a slash. It's right by yeah, the I'm question to... mark down by the right shift key. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, copy and paste like he did. Just type slash R D 100 space slash R space D 100. There, there you, you go. go. I made uh, it. Good. Excellent. Uh, right. You guys, those who made their listen roll here, holy shit, they have guns? Like, and it sounds like a big dude talking. And there one goes, it's probably the fucking lockpick gang. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody else goes, they are rotten kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, right, moving into next round. You guys are rotten kids, you know that, right? <laughs> These are these are twelve year olds who like to play with weapons. It's awesome. Okay, heroes are first, villains are second. Spending a hero point on an action is the approved action. So you guys are first. Going down my list, Jeremy. What do you do? You I are, will. You're firing at a pretty small target. You're going to be at some negatives to hit it because you've got this as opposed to a bigger silhouette. They're firing out of a blind, or you just try shooting through the blind and hope that works. That's what I'm going to try and do, is shoot through the blind. It totally does. Go ahead and roll a full skill. It's much easier. Hit. Excellent. Uh, you get a D8, I believe. Oh, where's my pistol? I just want to make sure that's a hit. Yeah, oh, just by, barely a hit. By the <laughs> way, if you succeed in the pistol from this, copy your pistol skill over and put uh, pistol Magitech. It starts at the exact same skill as your regular pistol does. But it will build separately. Okay. Ballistic okay. ones. There's no recoil and shit like that. Where's Abby? Three damage. Keep track of it. John, what do you do? I'm shooting. What do I gotta what do I gotta roll under? Your pistol Your skill. Pistol skill. Okay. Made it. Hit actually oh just just a little ball. Good. 
and roll a, roll a D8. They didn't give you the most powerful pistols, but you know. Oh, nice. Oh, we just straight up killed the guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, not, he's probably not killed, but I uh, definitely screaming. And Russ. <laughs> Same thing. Fire right through that blind. Uh, that is not gonna that's not gonna hit. No problem. You guys begin just blasting away. And uh okay. We now go to next round as the bad guys are like, what the fuck? We're expecting kids. Villains are first. Uh, they spend their round yelling at each other to try to figure out what to do and trying to eat some cover. So going for the hero's turn, attack is approved. Jeremy, yes. uh, I, I'm so if everybody's up. just shooting, just roll to hit. Yeah. hit. If, you, if you succeed in hitting, you get a card. Hit. All right. Did I get a card from last time or just this time? Just this just time because it's the approved action. I hit again. Now you get a card. And uh, right, roll I your damage. Did. You're keeping track of your damage. Uh, if, Mom, I'm going to heal something. Next so time, uh, John, we got to get you a quieter room to play in, sir. I'm sorry. Okay. Bedroom, so, bathroom. So Everyone's got to oh, okay, are we doing damage to the same guy? No, you, you guys are shooting at three different guys, although if you want to shoot somebody else's guy, that's okay, too. Yeah, uh, I figured we'd all aim at the same guy if we can. I don't really want to kill anyone if these guys aren't actually bad guys. You're not I just want sure to piss them off enough where they run away. They're shooting at us. Um, With little poison things that probably just that, knock yes, us out. Yes, they're shooting at us. Um, <laughs> so we've done, what did you do last time, Phil? Wait, we did. We've done three, then eight. That was eleven. Does that I've drop a, one of them? I've done a total of eleven to one guy. Well, see, the thing is, you, don't, you did no. not spend time coordinating ahead of the combat. Everybody shoot the same guy. So I was going with separate. But now you can start coordinating. Everybody shoot the left one. Everybody shoot the middle one. Whatever. I, I've done shoot nine to same one. Same guy. guy. <laughs> Everyone's got to discard down to one. By the way. Oh, oh. fuck. Keeping the party escape, kids. That's probably really smart. Okay, so my guy's taking one then. And then we're going to... Phil's taking nine. And Never Jones don't. is taking nine as well. Yes. Got it. So nine, one, nine. Perfect. Uh, I think I think John is currently on the move for greener pastures and stuff right now, or he's giving us a tour of where he lives. I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't have the camera up at the moment. Nope. He's 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 wandering around. Um, yeah, I gave you both. Nice. Uh, you you might want to turn on the light. Yeah, I can't even hear you. Over. What? No, okay, good. I was going to say, you might want to turn on a light in the room because you look like uh, one of those guys in the TV shows where they don't want to give away their face <laughs> or whatever, and so you, they use a voice synthesizer. That's yeah. better, man. You're good. You're good. That's perfect right there. <laughs> what well, my thing is, when card, one of your two cards, and then I think you get to draw one still if you haven't drawn yet. Oh, yes. we all get to draw two? Uh, oh, you get no. To you draw from your attack. But remember, oh, right, remember right, right, right. Okay, I'll, I'll destroy a card then. Yeah. So, John, uh, after you get situated, discard nice. one of your cards and then draw a new card. If you're not sure which card to discard, I would tell these guys what you got. They can help advise you. Yeah, I got the, uh, let's see. There's my. Uh... So, I got to pull up my cards here, right? Pardon? I got to pull up my cards. Well, yeah, if you click your cards, then they'll make it bigger and you can see what you've got. Yeah, if you click like the, okay, click on the number it. of cards you yeah, have. I have um, immediately upon fancy moves, immediately, immediately upon uh, completing successful martial arts, or that's martial arts role. And then the other one was uh, speed reading. Either it's going to. I'd get right. rid of speed reading. Speed that's reading. Not going to come in useful at all. Right. Fighting weird shit out in the forest. So drop that and then draw a new card because you did the approved action, which was attack. How many cards? Just one? Just, Just one. one. 
All right. Yeah. Cool. And is it red? And if it's red, yeah. you have to play it right away. Nah. Nah. You, you guys tell them what it is. Yeah, you sure. can. It's a insta hero. Gain a hero instantly. Oh, play it. Right. And you got a hero point. Yeah. Uh, you you need that, so that's good. Okay. Believe me, you can never have too many hero points. And the only Play. way you can lose them is to use them, so it doesn't hurt to get them ASAP. Yeah, so you play it, and you're back up to 10 heroes. Because okay. you were so, down at 9 because you spent 2. Right? So where do, how do I discard? What do I, I just... Uh, drag drag it, it to the pile. Yeah. Logan gets rid of the pile between sessions. Okay. Until yes. then, it just sits there getting increasingly, increasingly... More, more unruly. And how many hero dice said I had left there? You should have. Well, you should have nine left, and now you should have ten for the insta hero. Oh, excuse me, okay. somebody's knocking on my door. Now it's so Logan. Oh my god. Usually it's my dogs and, well, and then Tommy. <laughs> okay, let's tell him the guy who has one damage to him has five. He'll forget, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, my house is kind of noisy. I got my mother-in-law lives with us, and I got we got kids. It's cool. I it. wouldn't. It's cool. I wouldn't really worry about it too much. We were we were doing dire conspiracy against the world. I was <laughs> uh, John. The roll twenty uh, length that you have, you could like bookmark it and come back if you want to come back between games when other people aren't playing and mess around with it and try to figure out how shit works. That's fine. Okay. It's just it's, don't. Don't stay logged in or Logan will come hunt you down. Yeah, it's really distracting if you're doing a game and then people are logged in who aren't playing. <laughs> yeah, I rolled 20 before with the guys I, I played with when I was growing up, and uh -huh. it's okay. Yeah, it's free. Yeah. Actually, I, I pay for it, but uh, that's so that I can put more pictures up for you guys. So anyway, we now go to uh, next round. The bad guys have come up with a plan. Unfortunately for them, you guys are first and hasted. That means you get two full actions. So you could shoot twice or you could shoot and then dodge or something like that. But since the bad guys aren't going to get an attack yet, blazing away uh, like a freak is probably a good thing. Okay. And that's the plan. Attack twice. Everybody Let's roll. Attack there. once, see if he drops because that guy's got nine points on him. Well, I was right, say, the problem is you can't really see them from where you're at, so you're pretty much just punching holes through their uh, concealment and hoping that they drop. So I did four damage to a dude. Does it sound like he dropped? Uh, you can't tell because you're all you can hear is three guns going <laughs> really loud. All right, I'm going to take another shot at the same guy. Okay. And I hit him. That's and 20 sorry. points. He's dead. Uh, yeah, I'm going to assume he's How down. How many points? Do you think 20. He's dead? 20 is definitely dead. If he ain't dead, he ain't happy. <laughs> uh, John, how do you do on your black blazing away? All right. Um, hit? Yeah. And do it again. Just hit it again because uh, it's he, easier yeah. to roll twice. Second one, uh, second one I missed. So roll 1d8. Love hey, it. I I'm taking 13 points. Okay. So uh, how many uh, rocks is probably very fucked. Uh, and Phil's, how many is it taken? 20. Yeah. Phil's took 20. Oh, sorry. How many rocks take? Uh, I, it's only taken one so far. I haven't shot yet. Oh, go ahead. Why, what are you waiting for? One hit. Great. All right, I'm going to take the seven. <laughs> I right. rolled a D seven by mistake, but I'm taking the seven. Fine. So he's uh, taking eight. He's taking eight total. Yep. Okay, so there's probably still two of them up. No problem. Um. Yeah, they they uh, come bursting out. It's a couple of big fucking half spider, half people about the size of a car. Everybody, give me sanity rolls. Um. For John, how you do sanity rolls is you, your sanity is your fourth statistic. You want to roll under that. Ooh, we continued the house tour. I have gained an insanity. Holy shit. 
<laughs> well, I haven't told you. I haven't told you what the dice is yet. Uh, I was succeeded. at my sanity level, so if I lose anything, I gain its an insanity. Nice. I, a good one for you might always be confessing to anything. I, I think that's what I'm going to go with. That's fucked up. <laughs> I love PC ever. Anytime, did you kill this guy? Oh, I totally did. <laughs> and it, you, we should all be sent to jail. So, that's a great <laughs> insanity. Yeah, it's a horrifying insanity, but it fits him. Um, okay, so uh, John, uh, on your character sheet, uh, you, you should uh, see the insanity thing. You're still muted, so I can't tell if you're uh, with us. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, um, what you want to do is your sanity number. What is your sanity at? You guys want to, want to tell you the score? Uh, sure. Yeah. 65. Okay, you want to roll less than a 65. All right. Nope. Okay, nope. so uh, let's see. Did Rock make his sanity roll? Yes, I did. He loses one. The other two guys who both failed their sandy roll lose D6. So uh, both of you guys want to roll a D6 and try to get low. L one is good. No. Okay, five. Five is a bad number, but it's not It's not going to kill your ass. So now your sanity, instead of being 65, is now a 60. Okay? Yep. And you've got five points towards Drider. Yeah, that, that maxes at 12. So on your on there's a sheet that has different kinds of insanities for like cannibalism, marriage, cold-blooded killing, all these things. Marriage. <laughs> it, it is on there. Yeah. It is on there. Yes. Very and good. Drider is Drider is going to be a write-in. Yes. You want to write in Drider because right now seeing it is completely horrifying and freaky. But if you see enough of them, eventually it'll be like eh, Drider. You want to write down for the Drider? Drider, uh, you uh, make a note. You've lost uh, five points, and thus far, and you can lose a maximum of twelve. So after you've lost twelve, then you stop losing them toward that creature. You might want to move your camera down just a little bit because it looks like you're sitting at a really super. Yeah, there you go. So perfect. Okay, so uh, now what you want to do is send, anytime you lose five or more Sandy points in one roll, you need a willpower times three roll. So what's your willpower? Willpower is, so it's a, it's a 13, so. 39 or less, go for it. Nice. nice. You don't mind. You're like, I'm super tough. <laughs> Had you blown that, you'd roll a D3 for either you fight, you run, or you freak the fuck out. Right. Oh, fight, yeah. flight, freak. Those are three different things that happen. So uh, everybody's A-OK. -okay, and essentially what the the two big-ass driders, there was three of them, they burst out, and it, they are trying to flee deeper into the forest. But sadly for them, they are not getting very far. So they're still within pistol range. Next round, they won't be. They both look pretty wounded and like they're getting the fuck out of there. I just want to know from people if they're shooting it left or right because you've got pretty much one, one shot at it. If, left. If, left is eight, right is 13. Okay, so the right's really wounded. Who's shooting at which? A left. Left. Okay, so John gets the right one? Yeah, sure. sure. Great. Let's see if they if you guys go first or if they do. You guys go first. Drawing a new weapon's approved. I don't recommend it. So everybody give me pistol rolls. Ooh, I miss. You suck. I succeeded. You I might hit. want to hear a point that. I did three more. He's at eleven. Oh. I guess I'll pause it. If only there was a more damage in there because they're caught. I'm pausing. John, John roll a D eight, you hit. So he's down 15. He stumbles and he falls down. I miss again. Try it again, man. I was going to say, it looks like he's going to get away. Don't let him get away, Phil. I am dead on pause, man. Is there any like reroll 
any cards, people? I got no cards for you. You might be able to run them down through the fucking spooky forest filled with traps. I'm not saying that's not a possibility. Yeah, you can try that too. It's up to you, man. I don't know how much I don't know how much uh, hero points you have, and I shouldn't. I'm so yeah, no. And I'm we're chasing him down. I'm not burning any more pause. Okay, no problem. Uh, right, bad guy's turn. He attempts to scamper through the woods as fast as possible, yelling his head off. Fortunately for you guys, he is not an Olympic sprinter. So he gets a bit further away. Essentially, you can simple act, action after him and shoot him in the back if you wish. He is yelling, though. It's annoying. Let's see what happens next round. Next round, unfortunately for you guys, villains are first. He attempts to scamper further, so now he's out of simple. No, oh, <laughs> no. he does the looking back, and it shows like one of his legs hit an exposed root, and for some reason that causes him to completely fall over as he has fumbled his running away roll. He goes no, and you guys walk up or walking toward him. I'm guessing shooting him in the head or something because you're yeah, all uh, Unfortunately, these pistols cannot double tap unless. <laughs> You need, a, you need a special mod for that, for these Magitek pistols. If you guys are wanting to Reservoir Dogs his ass, please give me a pistol roll. Okay, we all Reservoir Dogs his ass. Well, hit. Phil, that's a hit? Thank goodness. All right, roll your D8, dude. And, oh, that's a D6. Sorry. He's down 17. That's yeah, fine. D6 is he, fine. He's dead. Yeah. He's dead. I, right, what do you guys do now? Uh, I want to find out what these blow tar- these uh, blow tubes are. They are blow guns. Yes. <laughs> and um, darts and shit. The darts have uh, poison on them. You're gonna guess they do. I mean, there's only one way to find out. Shoot. Is there something <laughs> visible on them? Is what I'm saying. Uh, it, it's kind of a greenish yellow paste that's on the thing. It might not be poison. You should shoot Phil to find out for sure. No, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I want to run over to the blind and see if there's any like useful documents or anything there. If documents? No, they're they there's a total of like eight eight blow guns. There's uh, about thirty or forty darts. We'll go forty darts. Um, and uh, there's like uh, food, water, stuff like that. And, uh, there's also like uh, uh, some playing cards. Uh, poker chips, shit like that. Looks like uh, whoever sits in here, and also big drider type chairs, like suitable for multi legged things. Like they just <laughs> hang out in this fucking blind. No drider what? newspapers, huh? Uh, well, no I didn't know there like, if, there, if they had it written down why they were hanging out there for any reason. That I'm assuming super. it's keep kids out of the forest, but. All right, Logan, if I try to collect these darts, I'm not going to have to make a roll to keep from accidentally poisoning myself, right? Uh, no, that, that'd be when you actually take them out of their protective uh, things and try using them. Then you'll fuck up, you poke yourself, pass out. It'll be uh, hilarious. I'm going to take all their ammo and fucking bury it somewhere. Oh, done. Okay. Good. <laughs> now right. this station is deactivated for... However long it takes them to realize they need to get more ammo here. How about we get rid of the blind, too? Um, yeah, we can tear it down. Well, it's just a bunch of different sticks and leaves and some different colored, uh, uh, like, green and uh, uh, brown cloth and stuff like that. I mean, you could knock it over easily yeah. if you wanted to. Screw yeah. your blind. And the force continues. Yep. Oh, everybody give me a spot hidden roll at negative 30. Fail. Success. Oh, nice. Uh, notice, I nailed it too. Wow. You two notice that one of one of the driders is still breathing. He's unconscious, but he's still breathing. Sweet. Cal- torture time. No, torture time. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Interrogation, huh? <laughs> Do you blow this? I think it's torture time, huh? time really loud. Torture time? Okay. <laughs> what, is one of them still alive, man? Yeah, he's unconscious. He's, he's, he's bleeding and stuff. And he's... How, many of the, how many of you are there? Where do you live? What's your goal? What do you have against the school? <laughs> he lays there successful, unconscious. Successful intimidate. 
Uh, excellent. You intimidate the shit out of the unconscious guy. You are truly oh, unconscious. Okay. Still, still unconscious. Yes. But you are epically scary toward him. Do I get a check and intimidate for that, or is that just fuck all? Yeah, you impress your two uh, friends here that are sitting here watching. Okay, I like cool. I'm just like, oh, he's not a, he's not alive. What, what is this then? He's unconscious. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm, I'm happens, role playing it, Logan. It's okay. <laughs> I know he's, I know he's unconscious. I, I, my character's still figuring it out though. Ah, okay. <laughs> oh, shit, he's right. unconscious. Do we have a way to tie him up or any ideas on how to tie him up? We got rope in the bag. We All want right. some silk rope and put it in the bag. Tie him up. <laughs>